The funeral of the assassinated Ecuadorian presidential candidate, Fernando Villavicencio, marked a somber moment in the nation's capital as he was laid to rest in a private ceremony on Friday night. The 59-year-old's burial took place at the Monte Olivo Cemetery in northern Quito, a location chosen for its serene surroundings. His campaign team, speaking to Frontline News TV in Espanol, emphasized the deep privacy of the proceedings, with the coffin being accompanied by both police officers and close family members. Fernando Villavicencio was a prominent anti-corruption advocate, a lawmaker, and a vocal critic of the violence perpetuated by drug trafficking within Ecuador. Tragically, his campaign came to an abrupt end when he was fatally shot during a campaign rally in Quito on a fateful Wednesday. The shocking assassination unfolded just 10 days before the scheduled first round of the presidential election, throwing the nation into a state of shock and uncertainty. Villa Vicencio was affiliated with the Movimiento Constri, a political party, known for its stance against corruption and commitment to transparency. His assassination, presumably orchestrated to silence his anti-drug trafficking stance, highlighted the dangerous nature of his advocacy. The subsequent investigation led to the arrest of six suspects, all Colombian nationals with ties to criminal gangs. One of the suspects, identified as the suspected shooter, died while in police custody due to a confrontation with security personnel. However, questions lingered about his nationality, adding a layer of complexity to the case. Ecuador, a country that had enjoyed relative peace until recent years, now faces a grave security crisis exacerbated by the rise in drug trafficking and territorial disputes among rival criminal factions. The escalation of violence has been particularly stark along Ecuador's Pacific coast, where criminal groups engage in fierce battles to control and distribute narcotics, primarily cocaine. Villa Vicencio's untimely death underscored the urgent need for addressing these issues and restoring stability. The international community responded with a resounding chorus of condemnation for the assassination. Leaders and organizations from within Ecuador and around the world, including the UN Human Rights Chief, the United States, and the European Union, voiced their outrage and solidarity. The tragedy served as a reminder of the importance of preserving democratic processes and protecting those who bravely speak out against corruption and violence. As authorities delved deeper into the investigation, a cache of weapons and evidence was seized. The list of confiscated items included rifles, pistols, grenades, ammunition, motorcycles, and a stolen vehicle believed to have been utilized by the suspects. In response to the gravity of the situation, Ecuador's President Guillermo Lasso sought assistance from the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI. The president took to social media to announce that a delegation from the FBI would soon arrive in the country to aid in the ongoing investigation. The burial of Fernando Villavicencio marked not only the end of a promising political career but also a tragic reminder of the challenges faced by nations combating drug-related violence and criminal enterprises. His legacy as an anti-corruption advocate and his courage in the face of danger remain an inspiration, driving the urgent need for change and reform in Ecuador's security landscape.